Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Ads tutorial. Today we are going to explain how to add search terms to a Performance Max campaign in Google Ads. Before we go straight to the point, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content, so thank you very much in advance. And off we go. So, first of all, we're going to come here to Google Ads under Campaigns. Either we're going to select the Performance Max campaign we would like to modify, or we're going to use the drop-down menu to do the same. Once we select the campaign, we're going to navigate to Asset Groups from the left-hand side. And the next thing we're going to do is to click next to Signals to this pen here on the right side. So we're going to click this pen. You are going to find this box that is called Search Themes. And we're going to come here and you can add up to 25 search themes. Now, keep in mind that these are not keywords. This is not us selecting a keyword, which means that when someone types, for example, kids' birthday party places or birthday party venue, we are going to show up. Yes, if we include birthday party venue, kids' birthday party, we are going to show up or at least we're going to be eligible to enter the auction to show up for these terms. But this is called a theme. A theme means a collection of terms, a collection of keywords that are relevant to what you are going to put here under this box. So when I select, for example, kids' birthday party, it means that I'm not only going to select just this one query. It means that the system is going to make my campaign eligible to show up for anything related to this query. So think about it as a broad match. For example, plural, kids' birthday parties, misspellings, even queries that are slightly similar with this. So best kids' birthday party, kids' birthday party venue. So anything that has to do with kids' birthday party in this example. So one thing that I really want you to digest is that you are not selecting keywords here. You are basically given a direction to the algorithm. You are selecting keyword themes. So the best way to actually do this job is either you're going to look into historical data, you are going to find the queries that are the best performing you're going to group them in themes, and then you're going to come here and insert them under this box. Or you're going to do the same job without historical data through Google Keyword Planner. You're going to estimate that these are some categories that potentially are going to perform well for my business. And then we're going to come here to this box. We're going to add the search themes, and off we go. Can you, at this stage that this video has been recorded, can you find out how is every search theme performing? No, you cannot. So if your intention is to find out how every search theme is performing, my suggestion here is to do the following. Create multiple asset groups. In every asset group, provide only one search theme. No audience signal, nothing else, just this one search theme. And then essentially you have a structure where you have a campaign and every asset group is targeting one search theme. You are going to understand based on the performance of every asset group how every search theme is working for your business. If you have multiple search themes and especially if you have search themes and on top of that you also have audience signals, then unfortunately as we speak, but also my prediction is for a very long time, we will not be able to get detailed reporting on the search themes. So you don't need to go ballistic, select the themes, the search themes that are the most to the point for your business and take it from there. Once you're done, all you have to do is to click here, save, and then you proceed to the next asset group or the asset groups under your other campaigns. That's it. If you have any suggestions for those who are watching, if you have any questions, type them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Best of luck for your Google Ads campaigns and have a great day in any time zone. Thank you, everyone.